So, here we go. Time Magazine. This was from 1987. Here's a funny fear. Where's the beach? America's vanishing coastline. Okay, so like uh, 32 years later, that's no longer a problem because it never was. When you wake up, do you look out your window and say, man, where's our coastline? It's vanishing. No, that's, that's just a picture of cliffs. Okay, this was one. The big dry. So the future was going to be dry. And then here's one. The big freeze. That The grabblers love to scare people with weather because it keeps your eyes off God. And here's another big freeze. Oh, the big freeze. Cold is coming. Cold is coming. And then, of course, you have the polar bears, the big warmth. Uh, you know, the polar bear population is up like 38,000. There's never been more polar bears ever recorded, ever. Okay. So then, of course, we have we have AIDS, right? Look at this. So we have AIDS, the growing threat, this is in 1985. What's being done? AIDS doesn't exist, by the way. I'll tell you what AIDS is in a second. And then the face of AIDS. Is that is that real to you guys? Is this what the face of AIDS look like? Yeah, that mustache guy, maybe. But that lady, yeah, the black guy, definitely, but. That lady, is that the face of AIDS? That lady, that, like, maybe the black lady. Like, is are these really, is that old lady really the face of AIDS? Are those, is that the face of AIDS? Okay, and so, AIDS killed a lot of gay men in the 80s, right? But Time Magazine made sure that you knew that the real threat so what they did here is they combined AIDS and weather. So they say the big chill. Because remember, they had just come off this, this, the big freeze. So now the big chill. So you're going to be cold and how heterosexuals are dealing with uh, AIDS. What AIDS is, is an autoimmune shutdown from a uh, terrible lifestyle. So when they started promoting sodomy after the late 60s and uh, in the 70s, Basically, homosexuality became legal. It didn't used to be legal. Like they, it, bathhouses started popping up, amyl nitrates, never-ending partying, all that stuff. So people's immune system starts shutting down. And so when they would take AZT to uh, cure a non-existent um, disease, AIDS is real, but HIV to AIDS isn't real. So AZT started killing people. The treatment for AIDS would kill people. AIDS is a shutdown of the immune system from someone's lifestyle. That's why Magic Johnson never died. Uh, that's why it, it's either the biggest mess up in the history of medicine or it was some intentional thing. Because AIDS is just gone now. And there was never a cure for AIDS. And the treatment for AIDS isn't real either. None of it's real. Okay, let's continue. And for those of you saying, oh, oh. Uh, it's real, is it? Really? Well, according to uh, the uh, the torch, can the rainforest be saved? When was this? 1989. So 30 years later, they've uh, they've done a revamp. They've done a, a remake of a previous fear. The rain, rainforest is burning down still. 30 years later, we're still like, can it be saved? Okay. I know my, my AIDS uh, opinion is unpopular, but that's fine. I don't care. So then, the big one is always the nuclear bomb. As you can see, there's a, gra a mushroom grabbler on the cover. Thinking the unthinkable. Rising fears about nuclear war. This was constant. Um, the, the death toll of nuclear bombs in my lifetime is still climbing at zero. Nuclear bombs allegedly were used once in human history... And according to Japan, they weren't nuclear bombs. They were fire bombs. We can do that in a, an, another uh, episode, but the odds you die of a nuclear bomb is much, much, much lower than your Schwinn that uh, someone just stole from your garage. Okay, so this is why they do this. Ready? Who has the bomb? The nuclear threat is spreading. Guys, this is 1983. Sound familiar? They just keep doing this shit. This isn't new. 
Nuclear terror for sale. Now they're getting into the face of nuclear terror. You're correct about AIDS, BB. It's the AZT that killed my brother. Exactly. Exactly. We can get to the bottom of it one one uh, someday. But all the all the uh, <laughs> in Africa, AIDS is typhoid and other diseases. Because in America, AIDS was the shutdown of the immune system. In Africa, it's when you shit yourself to death. So for some reason, the, the African AIDS mutated tremendously from the gay AIDS that happened from your immune system shutting down from staying up for five straight days, gay orgying. All right, so this is the face of terror. Uh, once we feared thugs like Carlos the Jackal, okay, now no one knows who might buy smuggled plutonium and hold the world hostage. Okay, since I've been alive, no one has. All right? And so why do they do all this about the nuclear bomb? I'll tell you why. Because of this. Energy. This is Three Mile Island. This is 1986. Meltdown, according to whistleblower, uh, Manhattan Project uh, head and um, head of GE Safety, Galen Windsor. Please go look up Galen Windsor. Three Mile Island was planned. It was a planned... They, they melted it down on purpose to scare everybody because... Um, Nuclear energy is way too cheap. So they scare you with this and this and this. Why? Oh, and this. The stakes keep getting higher and higher. What are the stakes? Because so far the death toll is still zero. And it always will be zero. Well, yeah, yeah, it just hasn't happened. My whole life, this has been, they've been doing this. I They also used to scare us about quicksand, the Bermuda Triangle, Bigfoot, We'll get to more. Nuclear nightmare. Really? Three Mile Island, the death toll was zero, and it was controlled. It was on purpose. They shut down the coolant system. Uh, yeah, there's that. Then they wanted you to be scared of kids and guns. White children with guns. Time Magazine, armed and dangerous. So what, what your new fear is white little kids... With guns. That's the fear. Not despair, not obesity, not any of the real things that are happening. Uh, not never ending economic debt based on fiat currency and unending war over nonsense. But little white kids with guns. Okay, what's next? So okay, the Amazon's still burning. And don't get chickens because of avian flu. So the cover of Time Magazine is special report. Death threat. So this is why I always get my Time magazines delivered 20 years late because I, I have 50 chickens and I'm so happy that none of them killed me. Inside the global race to avert a pandemic. Well, they did avert the pandemic. They've averted all of the pandemics. Okay, then of course there was the ozone layer. The vanishing, guys, it's vanishing. The vanishing ozone, the danger moves closer to home. It's almost here, right? The ozone layer, when I was a kid, said that it was over Antarctica. Why did they pick Antarctica? Because no one's allowed to go to Antarctica. So when you say there's a hole over something, no one can check and verify it themselves. And it was growing. And what caused it? Hairspray and air conditioning. And it was only going to grow and get closer to home. And then they just stopped talking about it. So when was this? This is... Uh, this sounds like this Bush senior, so that was probably around 1990. So 30 years have passed, and the danger not only didn't move close to home, it never existed. This is another close call. Warning, catastrophic energy crunch. This was in the two, early 2000s. Uh, I'm relieved to inform everybody that gasoline is still, uh, nothing happened. Catastrophic energy crunch, according to time, taking away the moments that make up a dull day as you fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way. The sun is the same in a relative way, but you're older, shorter, shorter of breath, and one day closer to death. So what is time doing? It's scaring you into not doing anything. One of the most terrifying thing in the world, according to Time Magazine, white fertility. Children... Having children. Now the new terror is a white girl pregnant. 
Teen pregnancy in America. You want to know what teen pregnancy used to be called? Pregnancy. Because our great-grandparents all had kids in their teens. So this is the new face of terror. It's a white pregnant person. Even though teen pregnancy at this point was much, 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 much higher amongst the African-American population. But Time wanted you to know that that's the real threat is a pregnant white girl. So I'll show you three quick steps into how, what, how a pedophile operates. First, they make moron housewives think that they don't have a great life and they're not free. So this is 1977, Time Magazine. Fighting the housewife blues. Fighting the housewife blues. And you have uh, soap and a bottle. It's associating that with blues. They're trying to create a narrative that the housewives are blue. That they're sad. When in reality, that's the most free, productive, and um, full of purpose and health a woman can possibly be is a stay-at-home wife and mother in a prosperous household. That's where that's an ideal place for a woman. We all know this now. So that was in 77. So what happened in 87? Who's bringing up baby? With both mom and dad at work, the big problem is finding quality health care. Where do you find that quality health care? And then 10 years later, early puberty. Why girls are growing up faster? Is it hormones? Is it fat? Is it something in the water? How parents and kids are developing? That's 2000. I'll tell you exactly how this happens. You put, you send the mom to work. There's nobody home for the kids. They go through puberty faster. Girls go through puberty faster when they are in an unstable environment. Girls go through puberty on average three years faster if there's a non-biological male in the house. Because what a girl thinks is she's about to be uh, kidnapped, raped, and killed. Because that's what would happen to them when there wasn't a man and a woman protecting them. So what would they do? They would go, go through uh, puberty at 11, 12 years old, so that they could attract a mate, so that they could be protected in a time of complete chaos. Sometimes girls in times of war and an extreme Poverty go through puberty as young as seven and eight because they want a man to want them so that they don't die. So if you happen to be a grab or pedophile, what is a better path than scare the hell out of housewives and say, you're sad. So the housewife leaves the house, the, the kid's alone, they go through puberty early, they get to take a picture of a kid in a bra and no one's there to protect them. Happy birthday, grabblers. And by the way, ladies, you're a bunch of fucking morons. Moving on. This is the future of Time Magazine. What will they scare us with next? Time. This is Time Magazine 2030. The static climate. Temperature won't budge. Here's why we should be worried. Guys, that's not an exaggeration. That's real. If you if you compare that to uh little kid little kids with guns, AIDS, uh sad housewives. It's like that isn't even on the spectrum of fear for these people. That's real. That could be the future Time Magazine. The fear of the static climate. Why won't the temperature go up or down? Here's how you should, why you should be afraid. Here's why you should give up all your rights and wealth and, and families. So again, we can highlight it all again. So Time Magazine, the nonsense machine. 30 years ago said that there would be no more beaches. They said that there would be no more rain. They said that you were going to freeze to death. They said the polar bears would die. They said heterosexuals were all going to die of AIDS. Uh, they said nuclear uh, holocaust was coming. Everyone's getting the bomb. Plutonium just held by a green-faced man. Uh, of course, nuclear power is the enemy. It's all, you know, nuclear war. It's all going to kill you, kill you, kill you. I, I was raised right next to stacks that look just like that. Nothing happened. Just some white shit would come out of it. You know, a little kid with a rifle was going to kill you. The Amazon has been burning for just decades. It's just, you know, at any minute, it's going to just burn down. Of course, a chicken is going to make you sick and kill you. You're going to get uh, oz You're going to get skin cancer from the ozone layer. Uh, you're, there's no gas for your cars anymore, according to 30 years ago. Uh, big threat, white, white fertility, big threat. And then, of course, you have... Being a, a wife and a mother makes you sad. Who's going to raise the little kid? And why on earth are little kids going through puberty faster? So then the future will just be more fear. 
So what's the moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen? The moral of the story is this. Fear is from Satan. It's the thing I tell you guys every single day. Wait till we do the Muslim ones. Wait till we do the Finding Bin Laden or the... D tomorrow, I'm doing a whole episode on 9-11, just about 9-11. It's going to be a blast. Time had one on Mad Cow. Guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just what I what I pulled together from... Uh, it's it's nonstop. The oceans were supposed to be poison. Bin Laden was multiplying. Can we stop jihad? It's it's nonstop. And so when people say, "How are you not afraid of Bin Laden?" It's they've made you scared of everything. White fertility is my nickname, right? So what is the response to this? Don't be scared. The whole point is to get you to not engage in life, to make you a little shell, a little consumer goat that does what they're told. Doesn't have families. You are Neo. I'm not Neo. I'm, I'm My name is Owen. BB is breaking spells. Yes, I am. Just level one. No, this is, le this is all the levels. This is not just level one. Because this is all the levels. If you can approach life without fear, Without without unjustified fear. There's times to be afraid. There's 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 moments in life when your instincts will tell you, get out of the elevator, or don't trust this person, or why is that sound on my roof? You know, there's fear is is a is a valid instinct, but not this stuff. This is all complete nonsense. Don't listen to anything that comes from the mainstream media screen. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble. Thank you for watching Hidden Hand. Let me know what you think below. One love, one vibration.